Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another match preview where today I'm going to be previewing Cardiff City versus Norwich City in the Championship. Now, last time around for the Bluebirds, a very unlucky loss to Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup, going out in the third round as usual. In my opinion, I thought this was very unlucky for the Bluebirds to lose this one, considering the players that were actually missing in this game, and Harris being in the stands, may I add. We were switched off in the first half with a goal from Lyle Taylor coming in the third minute, but City played some good attacking football in the second half and were actually very unlucky not to get goal towards the end of the match, so good on the players for that. As for injuries for the Bluebirds, still got a stacked injury list. So sad to hear about Bambi, but please get well soon, Bambi. is such an asset to the club. As for transfer news, we haven't actually heard anything about Perry Ung yet. We did get an undisclosed fee offer rejected, I believe, last week because it wasn't to Crew Alexandra's standard. If we can boost that up a bit, maybe we'll have a chance of getting him, even though he only has six months left on his contract. Also, today we have been linked as well with Max Waters from Crawley Town. 21-year-old, I believe he's about 5'9". He scored 13 goals in 15 games so far this season, averaging a goal so far every 75 minutes, including turning the Leeds defence into complete and utter ready break in the FA Cup when they beat them 3-0. Looks a class player, I think he'd be a good asset to have at Cardiff. As for our opponents, Norwich, they are top of the league of course, in fairly good form with a win against Barnsley last time around 1-0 with a single goal from Emmy Buenda, who yes, he did indeed score in our reverse fixture when we lost 2-0. It was a pretty nice goal as well, to be fair to him, and also the Milky Bar kid scored against us as well. But the thing we've got to watch with Norwich is that they tend to sit back and let us have the ball and let their opponents have the ball and then wait for that key mistake to happen and then they can break on the counter-attack and then pretty much after that, it is all over. So we got to make as few mistakes as possible in this game and if we make a mistake, then that could be doom for us in particular. But as for the Norwich team news, no real injury concerns at the moment, minus Tim Krull, who is out at the moment with the demonetized virus. However, Bardem will be starting, who is in very good form when we played them last time around. He looks like a class keeper. I believe he's from uh, Northern Ireland as well. As for Team of Pookie, Max, Aarons and Oliver Skip, they were rested in Norwich's game against Coventry, but they should be fresh and will most probably feature in the game against the Bluebirds, which is going to be dangerous for us. As for my predicted lineup, I am going to go for Smithies and goal, then the same back four as we played against Nottingham Forest. That is Bakuna, Bennett, Nelson and Baggin. Uh, yes, I thought Bennett had quite a good game at centre-back in the Nottingham Forest game. Then Volks and Rolls in midfield with Wilson in central attack in midfield. Toilet and Ojo shoved out on the wings with big man Robert Glatzel at front. My verdict on this one, Norwich have been on a great run of form recently while we're on an abysmal run ourselves with no win in five whole games of football. So in theory, we should be starting to turn it around and getting something here. But things are seeming that they are on the way up with our performances, especially if we can get the players that we really need in the transfer window. So your playmaker, definitely a right back. And if we can get Max Waters as well, I believe he might be confirmed today. That is the 15th of January. Then we'll definitely get this January transfer window right, which we really need. But... As usual, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm hoping for a good performance here, guys. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. And if this is the first ever video you've seen by me, then please do remember to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you can to support the channel, guys. Thanks to 750 subs, by the way. Remember to turn on notifications as well so you never miss an upload like this. Follow all my social medias in the description below. And I'll see you for the watch along at around 3 o'clock tomorrow on Saturday versus Norwich City. Come on, let's get something in this game, guys. And do do it for the legend that is Sol Bamba, guys. Please get well soon. See you then, guys. Hoyle Vow.